In this video, I'm going to show you how to plan a route on the Ride with GPS website, get it over to your Garmin cycling computer using your phone as a bridge with no wires. Now you can use the Garmin Connect website to plan a route and get it over to your Garmin with a couple less steps. Garmin Connect does work fine if you're following roads or gravel roads, but the reason I like Ride with GPS is one, it just has more tools for planning your routes. And also if you're getting more off the beaten path following paved bike trails, maybe even some mountain bike trails that appear on the map, Ride with GPS is better. And finally, some people are gonna find it easier to share the routes they've created on Ride with GPS versus routes they've created on Garmin Connect. I will say that if you're a mountain biker and you're wanting to follow trails specifically, Trail Forks is probably going to be the better website to use. And I'll make a video later showing how to use Trail Forks to plan a route and get it over to your Garmin. All right, let's get started on Ride with GPS. I'm on the Ride with GPS website. And by the way, I am using the free version. There is a paid version, which is gonna have more tools, more features, but I find that the free version works really well. So I'm gonna to go to Route Planner. And then I'm going to find the area where I want to map my route. I'm gonna go up to Brevard, North Carolina. On the top right, I'm just gonna type in Brevard and C, hit Enter. I'm gonna remove the marker because I'm gonna start in a specific spot. So let's start right here around the Davidson River area campground. And we're just gonna follow this road out. We're gonna hop on a gravel road and we're gonna come up here, go to this gravel road. And this is where I wanna switch over to Garmin Connect's website and show you where Ride with GPS is better for these more off the beaten path type routes. You saw that real easily. It just went from this gravel road over to this gravel road. I met the same section on the Garmin Connect website. And if I go from here, and click over to here, it does this funky thing where it routes me like, I, I don't know what it did really, just way around, I mean, that, that's crazy. So I can't go from here over to here like I did on Ride with GPS website. Again, this is just for those off the beaten path type scenarios where you're on a B road, a less used gravel road, main roads, the Garmin Connect website works fine, but again, this just demonstrates why I like Ride with GPS. All right, back over to Ride with GPS. We're just gonna continue this route. Ooh, here's a really off the beaten path road. Let's see if it follows it. It does. Perfect. I'm gonna go back to here and we'll finish up right here. A nice 47 mile gravel route in Pisgah National Forest. Now that I'm done, I'm gonna click save on the bottom left. I'm gonna name my route. We'll just call it Pisgah Gravel Route. And I always put like the mileage right after the name just for a quick reference. I'm gonna make this, it'll make it public, why not? And click on save. At this point, I'm just gonna to go to view route. Here's my route. And then to get it over to the Garmin, first of all, we're gonna export it. So you see here, on the top left, it says export TCX file. Now you've got some more options, but I always do TCX. Uh, just click on this button and it'll send it over to your computer. So if you have the paid version, that's what this little symbol means. It means that these features are only available with the paid version. So if you wanted these kind of features, you could get the paid version, but I'm just gonna click on download TCX file. And you see over here, it's downloading. It's gonna put it in my downloads folder on my computer. Now that it's downloaded, we're gonna switch over to Garmin Connect. I'm gonna clear this one out. Yes, we'll discard that example, go to full screen. So what I'm gonna do is up here, I'm gonna to go to training and courses. And you'll see right here on the bottom left, there is a little button that says import just below the create course button. So I'm gonna click on import. And then you can either drag the file here. I'm just gonna click on Browse. And I'm already in my Downloads folder. And Pisgah Gravel Route 47. So I'm gonna double click on that. Go to Get Started. And that's importing the route into Garmin Connect, which I'll be able to see on my phone. I'll define the route as Gravel Unpaved Cycling. Click on Continue. And this is where you'll wanna name your route. So click on Edit. And I'll name it the same thing. What I call it, Pisgah Gravel. 47. And then I'm going to click on this save new course button. Now I've got this route in my Garmin Connect library of saved routes that I can follow. Now that I've got the route in my Garmin Connect library, I'm going to open up Garmin Connect on my phone. Click on the little hamburger menu on the top left, or it may be different on an iPhone. Then go to training and go to courses. 
And this is where you'll see your saved courses. Now, this one comes to the top, the Pisgah Gravel 47. If you wanted to sort alphabetically, you could click on this little down arrow on the top right and go to A to Z. And then you could scroll down and find it that way if you wanted to do that. So if I open up the Pisgah Gravel 47 route, you'll see it here. Now what I want to do is I want to send it to my Garmin. So I'm going to turn on my Garmin. I'm going to click on the dots on the top right. I'm going to go to send to device. Now I just turned on my Garmin Edge 1030. So if I want to send it to the 1030, I just tap on that and then it's ready to go. And it'll sync, but what I do is I go to my Garmin. So I'm going to go back out to the main screen here. I'll look at my devices. You'll see it's already syncing. If it weren't, you could just tap on it and force it to sync. But by syncing, that is putting this route over on my Garmin Edge 1030. To view the route on the Edge 1030, now every Garmin's a little bit different, but on the 1030, you click on Navigation, tap on Courses, and then go to Saved Courses, and then these are in alphabetical order, and I can go down, and there's my Pisgah Gravel 47. It's gonna load the course. If I wanted to follow it, I would just tap Ride. So that is how you plan a route with Ride with GPS and get it over to your Garmin without using any wires. Like I said earlier, I'll probably do another video showing how to do this with Trail Forks, which the process is pretty similar. Any questions or comments, drop those below. Thanks for watching.